Pops, we're going to be doing a luxury premium brand market update. Before we do, though, yes, we've got a contest running back at, at the YA community. Yes. You can win a free lifetime. Lifetime. Lifetime membership. Yeah. Yes. Do we, have uh, to defi- do we have to define what lifetime is? No, because no one's really quite sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> but check out contest rules down below. Yeah. All you got to do is like type up some stuff. It's yeah. free. It's pictures. fun. If you take pictures, pictures that could help. Text. Te- well, but pictures. Pictures, that's one of the contests. Link down below. Yeah. Pops, what's going on in the luxury market? We got some Q2 results from all the different manufacturers and brands. It was a hell of a quarter for the luxury uh, brands. Uh, uh, apparently. Apparently. Those in America who are most interested in buying cars are interested in... In luxury vehicles. Yeah. For the first time in the history of uh, transaction prices in this country, the average transaction price of a vehicle sale exceeded $40,000. So, on average, if you want average, you're buying $40,000. <laughs> you're spending $40,000 for your car. So, that means half of the people were spending less than that, and the other half of the people were spending more than that. And the luxury market has just exploded. Yeah. And and not by a little bit. I mean, uh, I think Audi sales for the quarter were only up 92% compared to the same time last year. 92%. Tesla ended up selling 97% more cars year over year. Uh, Volvo was up 54%. Volvo, like kind of the butt of all of our jokes during the inventory struggles. Like yes. they've had a lot of market day supply. No, they're still selling 54% more. Uh, yeah. Porsche up 56%. Um, Genesis sales were up 209% year over year. It's just remarkable. It's truly it, ridiculous. It, 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 it means that that those who have money can still afford to spend the money and, and, to, and to buy the luxury goods. Um, it might not mean that, that those in the lower earning brackets feel as comfortable spending money as, yeah. as well as those in the upper earning brackets. Um, BMW is sitting pretty there. Uh, if, if you ever thought about buying a BMW, the end of this year will be the time to do it. And here's the reason why. They currently are the market leader in luxury brand for sales. And there's nothing BMW likes more than being able to say that they kicked Mercedes-Benz's butts when it comes to sales for the year so they will spend (laughs) over the next six months or five months whatever it takes to maintain that lead and they and and even if they can't they will encourage their dealer body to report cars sold that aren't so that they can claim (laughs) we've done videos uh, on that (laughs) so that they can claim at the end of the year they they were the number one volume selling luxury brand in the united states so after the first quarter mercedes benz had sold more units and after the second Mm -hmm. quarter bmw caught up and surpassed mercedes yes yeah i mean you're totally right and 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 part of the issue is is that sales are strong but there's a but and the but is that they're all experiencing some of those dreaded chip shortages and they're not a hundred percent certain that they'll be able to maintain the uh, the inventory yeah. levels that they would like moving forward because they just might not be able to produce as many cars as they had hoped to so let's touch on that so lexus has yes. the lowest market day supply of those that are in the premium brands that reports that uh, yes. publicly which is a 22 days supply of inventory which yeah. is not a lot no it is not then it, on the opposite end of the spectrum you have infinity and genesis with a 60-day supply yeah. which is more typical yes and 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 typically dealers like to have between 45 and 70 day supply of cars and what that means when we say a daily uh, a day, day supply. supply is that if you were to look at your current inventory and if you weren't going to get any more cars with what you currently have if it's a 15-day supply well over the next 15 days you will have sold out all of your cars yep um, so the average turn rate's pretty quick on these vehicles. Yeah, good. not only is it quick, but then there's also a lack of supply actually coming yes. back in. So yes. that's a challenge throughout the entire industry. Premium and luxury brands are not you know, uh, safeguarded from that. It's, it's happening there just yeah, as well. absolutely. Now, interestingly, BMW and Mercedes-Benz, they don't report what their day supply of inventory is. One way that you can find out, at least for your region, is, yes. of course, you can run a market price report for a vehicle for like a 3 Series BMW mm-hmm. 2021 and you can see, okay, what's the market day supply in my area. But nationally, we have no understanding of what they're... Although, maybe we could do that with our database. I, I should yeah, see we, if we, we can... Yeah, we can take a look. Yeah. That'd be interesting if we yeah. could come up with that. Anyway, 
there's not enough supply. That's a story that's been everywhere. However, there's enough demand that everyone's buying them up. It's there's, really there's way more demand, and there's no incentives. No, and they don't have to use incentives to get people to to buy right now. But are you thinking that towards the end of the year, and I'll just use BMW for example here, BMW is going to put some money towards oh, absolutely, incentives absolutely because they're going to want to win. Yeah, kind that's of the, the mindset. Of the beast. They got to win. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's what's going on in the premium side. Back on the more economical side, we still have strong sales there as well, which is just indicative of what's going on in the market right now. Check out our other video. We did a video recently on market day supply across all the different brands. Mm -hmm. That's helpful. But yeah, if you're in the market to buy a car right now, A, don't be. Yes. B, don't spend more than $40,000. Yes, yes. Be below average. (laughs) And C, lease the damn thing, because then you don't have all that negative equity. Exactly, exactly. All right, Bobs, thanks for looking at this. My pleasure. Nicely done.